Today we're going to be talking about one of the best short yardage passing concepts in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the trip side information, which you can find in the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. If you want to get my entire ebook on this, make sure you join the Patreon. It's going to be linked down in the description. We have several different ebooks out already, and we're going to be continuing to update these ebooks throughout the year. We actually just dropped a massive update to the trip side end. So as I said, this I think this is the best short pass passing concept in the game. Very effective in short yardage situations and very effective against man or zone coverage, depending on whatever your opponent wants to run. The play is going to be doubles in sale. You really could do this out of any play. We're calling doubles in sale because it has have a running back table route. The setup is we're going to flat our middle trips receiver. We're going to slant our inside trips receiver and we are going to tight in apprentice post our tight end. Tight end apprentice, I think, is a must if you run trips tight end. Now, our first read on this play is either going to be the running back or the slant. That that route combination is so effective if they run man-to-man. -man. And this that you could literally, guys, you could literally run this play pretty much every single play on a drive, and it's very difficult for the opponent to be able to stop it because the slant will beat man consistently. Another route that is very consistent for you, especially against man-to-man, is going to be this backside in route out of doubles and sale. We already have uh, the in route within the play, and then we also have the, the flat. The flat's going to kind of create a little pick, a little rub route, and it's going to get him some separation against press man to man. So you have the in route to the far left receiver. You have the slant route. The next route that you want to be looking for against man coverage is this back, what I call the back breaker route in this, which is going to be your tight end post. The tight end post is super consistent this year. Uh, for being able to attack man coverage consistently. So I really prefer this tight end post. I think this tight end post is so effective um, against man coverage and zone coverage, and it really takes this play to a whole other level. So they really can't they really can't run man coverage on you. I could have hit the slant, could have hit the in route. I was trying to show the post, but they really can't run man coverage on you. Um, you're running back quick to the flat. I want to talk about that in terms of a man blitz. So if they want to try to send five or send pressure at you um, out of trip side in and they're trying to play main coverage, in order for them to have good coverage over the slot receivers on the left, they have to kind of give you this running back table route. So this running back table route, super easy uh, read and very quick hitter for you against main coverage. And if they're in a cover zero and they're trying to send a lot of pressure, the running back table route would be the first read. It's kind of your hot route. So you see blitz, you're immediately trying to hit this table route. And then if they cover the table route, chances are the slant route's going to be wide open um, because in order for them to cover the table route, we're going to talk through what they need to do here. They have to go guard the table route instantly. They, they really have to run to the table route to guard it. So they run out of the middle of the field where we're going to replace their user with that slant route over the middle. So it's very, very good against man. Now you might say, okay, well, it looks pretty good against man, but what is it going to do against zone coverage? And we're going to take advantage of the fact that in this year's game, um, there's a lot of holes in zone coverage underneath because they're trying to make it harder to get one play touchdown. So our first read is always our table route, but then we're going to quickly progress backside. If we see zone coverage early, we really want to look to this backside flat and in concept because if they are running um, a cover four coverage, which a lot of people like to run where they're baseline and they're pressing and they're, and they're playing hard flats, the flat will pull that hard flat out. The slant pulls the yellow in, and then there's that little window where we can hit the uh, slot receiver. Now, I did want to just kind of quick word of caution. If they put a curl flat over there, and we'll show this out of cover three, you'll see the curl flat will kind of go in with him. You can always throw that quick flat, especially if you're, you know, short yardage situation, you only need a yard or two. So that's just something to keep in mind. But another thing about curl flat zones in general is – Curl flat zones are not going to be as good against a slant. So you have that slant backside. Now, in last year's Madden, the deep zones would kind of suck down to guard and help defend uh, situationally these slant routes. This year's game, they're not going to do that as bad as they have in years past. So in this read progression here, watch this slant route. You see how that outside quarter doesn't really play him. And there's this little window that I can hit. Um, that I can hit there, that I can hit the hit the route to him over the middle. So cover three, cover four, really not going to be effective against this. And the only thing they really can do 
is called cover two. Again, we're high lowing the flat. So if they're not playing hard flats, guess where we're going? We're going to hit the running back flat route. So if you think all this out, how are they going to play defensively? Well, they're going to have to drop a hard flat over here to be able to handle the running back table route. Well, they have to drop a hard flat to handle a running back table route. Guess who's now going to be wide open? Now it's going to be your slant route. So now we got to think through, okay, well, then how is the user going to defend all of this, right? And really what they're going to do is they're going to have the hard flat, they're going to have the cloud, and then over here on the left side, we're going to hard flat here, and we're going to user the slant route. This is the most common way people are going to try to stop this if they know what they're doing to try to stop it in the first place. If they do that, the user has to take the slant, and now we have that post route coming over the middle. Again, I call it the backbreaker route for a reason. The vertical hook will almost always uh, come down on the in route this year, more so than it has in years past. Another thing they can do out of cover two is they can shade over the top and then they can replace those hard flats like this, or they could put um, they could put this guy on the right in a hard flat, which they would never do that. I would be shocked um, unless you're just spamming this play because they have to protect against deep corner routes to that side and stuff like that. But anyways, watch this. This is a shaded over top vert hook. You'll see he'll play him. But if we wait on this long enough, He'll actually clear the vert hook and the cloud flat will suck down to the uh, flat route over there. So you just have a lot of options with this play. It's very effective. And uh, it's truly one of my favorite ways to get short yardage situations uh, taken care of at a trip side in. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. You can sign up by heading down there and clicking the link down below.